Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, it just becomes more about possessions, right? I mean, it's possessions, nine tenths, nine tenths of the law. Um, we had seven in this past game. Um, the eighth would have been uh, Mike Samerstill's interception. We put points on the board, which we love. Um, yeah, I mean, points per possession, uh, ball control, time of possession, those uh, and turnovers became even even more of a, f a factor in the game. I knew you were uh, up sideline this week, um, but on the commentary they were talking about zone blocking and power. Have you always had that part of zone blocking since you've been the coach? And how do you think this group is uh, doing at it? Good. Um, yeah, zone blocking. Gap schemes, uh, counters. Uh, there's insert plays. There's uh, a lot of a lot of ways to skin a cat. Um, but you know, staples are are uh, zone blocking and gap blocking. On the left, Bob. Tim, do you find that you learn a lot more about your team in its first road game, and do you wonder how a team's ever going to react to its first road game with you? <clears throat> um. Yeah, the preparation is is you know just much like like anything. Getting good at football. I mean, pack uh, pack a good football team to go on the road. That's uh, especially the defense. Um, you know, make sure you got a got your defense packed. Don't forget. Don't leave them at home. On the left, John. As you said before, it's a little tough to see sometimes down on the sideline. Can you talk about? Samer Stills interception that you might have seen later at a better angle and the kind of uh, leading that he's done so far. Yeah. Um, so the the play on the field, yeah, I didn't. I lost where the ball was. Uh, first thought it was on the ground. He was just sc scooping it up. Could have been a could have been a fumble. And our guys are trained in practice. If the ball's ever on the ground. You know, we're, we're hopping on that mistake or, or, or trying to uh, pick it up and advance it, even on incompleted passes in, in practice. Our guys are, are, uh, are picking them up. Mikey, um, it was an incredible play. When I got to see it from the different angles, uh, you know, the, way he, the way he kept his feet, uh, first the ball skills, which he has tremendous ball skills, uh, the athleticism, the balance, I mean, uh, we do the slack block control. Uh, and he's really good at it. Cornelius Johnson's really good at it. Saw Cornelius show up in the Ohio State game last year when he was, you know, normal, average uh, athlete, human being would have would have fallen down. Same thing with Mike. You know, it would have been on the ground, but for him to stay up and and then uh, you know get into uh, making the moves he did and then. Take it back to the crib, as the young people like to say. Uh, that was that was just a beautiful, beautiful thing. His leadership, um, I mean, it's it's constant. Um, you know, he just affects everybody he comes in contact with in a positive way. Uh, I'm sure you see the see the same thing that uh, that we do. Loved by the players, loved by the coaches. Um, and you know it's it's great to see him. He's already a Michigan legend, right? Um, and to see him continuing to add to that, uh, it's just a beautiful thing. Wonderful, wonderful thing. On the left, Tony. Yeah, Jim. When when you go into a game, you see Nebraska's ranked number one uh, against the run statistically. I guess what does that do for the game plan? Do you do you lean into that? Do you think okay, maybe we got to do other things, or do you continue to play your style? Yeah, I mean, it's just uh, the planning of it um, and, uh, you know, recognizing, you know, how they're doing that. Uh, you know, it's, they're good. Um, and they're, they're really good at uh, playing multiple multiple fronts, multiple schemes. Um, so it's going to be a, an important week of, of planning and preparation. And, uh, and then, uh, then we'll go compete and, and – try to execute to the best of our ability.